first things first you're going to need some alcohol an empty powder foundation container some loose eyeshadow shimmer it's good to go ahead and use two different types of loose eyeshadow. I used a bronze and a gold so that way my highlighter is not too bronze or too gold. Next you're going to need a set of popsicle sticks. Here you will see me take the foundation powder and I'm cutting it across. I'm just cutting it pizza style to kind of get all of it to come out when it's time to dump it. So I just cut it up real nice and neat and I just go ahead and dump it in the trash can and I rinsed it and cleaned it and I dried it out with a cotton ball because you do not want any water in the container. Next we're going to go ahead and get our loose shimmery eyeshadows ready and the colors are on the bottom. I use Sunshine and Radiant. Here I am going to start. So I am dumping in some of the gold first. This can get very messy. Um, I have this on top of a glass table so it's easy to clean off. Do not do this on white. You will regret it. So get a towel, newspaper, or something like that that's easy to clean to do this. So here you'll see me take the radiant and I'm putting that on top of the gold because like I said I'm using it both so my highlighter can come out kind of bronzy and not too gold and also not too bronze. So this is going to be very repetitive. I'm kind of just layering them on each other one after another. And then when I feel like I have a little bit of enough I go ahead and put my first little bit of a dose of alcohol. Here I am taking one of the popsicle sticks and I am just going ahead and mixing those together. And what I'm looking for while I'm mixing this is a clumpiness. I want this to get to a solid but loose clump. And also I want to fill up the container at the same time. So I'm basically just repeating these steps until I see the consistency that I want to see and also until the container is full. If I had to compare this to anything, it's kind of like mixing paint. If anybody's mixed paint before, you don't want it too loose, but you also don't want it too thick. So you just add whatever you need to add, I guess water and more paint, and you just try to create that thick consistency that you want. And that's what I'm looking for right now. So like I said, the steps are pretty repetitive. I'm adding the gold, I'm adding the bronze, I'm adding the alcohol, I'm adding the gold, I'm adding the bronze, and I'm adding the alcohol. Sometimes you won't see me add the alcohol because either I already have enough. So at this point right here, I didn't know that the top comes off of the fountain off of the loose eyeshadow and it kind of like dumped itself out so I was like okay cool I don't have to keep shaking it so that's a memo for you guys the tops do come off and look at this this is the thickness that I was actually looking for it's like mixing a perm so this is the thickness that I'm looking for right here and I'm just going to keep going because the container is not really full so you'll see me keep adding okay and by this point I've added enough the container is full and I'm just spreading it all out real even to make sure there's no clumps This right here is a beautiful color. Here you'll see me swatching it for you so you can see the outcome of this. It is so beautiful and so perfect. And I also put a label on it and I'm calling it new, new because this is one of my new items. And here um, I am just gonna go ahead and place it to dry, but this is the finished outcome ladies. And stay tuned because you'll see me test it out. 